Man, these leaks have been going crazy recently because pretty much the whole next season of Pokemon Go uh, events, raid bosses, it's its all been leaked. Now, before we get into all these leaks, it is important to note that obviously leaks not confirmed by Pokemon Go itself. So all of this could be completely incorrect and completely wrong, but this is from a trusted leak source that we have seen before. But again, not all of it will potentially come true like we saw with the potential Mega Gallade leak that never happened. Let's get into it. Okay, first off, let's hop into raids for the next season in Pokemon Go. Now, do note, not all the dates have been confirmed. December 1st, December 15th, we will have both Reshiram and Zekrom returning. December 15th to January 1st, we'll have Kyrim returning. Not sure if any of them will have legacy moves. January 1st to then a sometime in January will be Regigigas. And then sometime in January, we'll also have Blacephalon. And also we will have Stataka Taka. So finally getting the new Ultra Beasts. Finally, probably sometime in February, we're going to have Mewtwo and then Heatran and then Garatina in both the origin form and altered form, but the dates have not been leaked for that. For Mega Raids, we do know that December 1st to 8th, we'll have Mega Caesar, December 8th to 15th, Mega Altaria, and December 15th to January 1st, Mega Obama Snow. but doesn't seem like we have any Mega Raid leaks for the rest of the months. I've also heard of a leak for a Shadow ho -Oh Raid Day coming sometime next season, like we had with the Lugia. Not sure when that's going to be, though or if that will even happen, but could be pretty cool. Community days, I made a little short on this, but community days for the next month, of course, December 16th and 17th will be the recap of all 2023 community days. Then January 6th, we'll have Rowlet Community Day with the move Spirit Shackle, I believe it's gonna be getting, as well as Frenzy Plant. Porygon will then return with Community Day Classic on January 20th, finally going into February 4th, which will have Chansey Community Day. Pretty cool community day there. You can get a bunch of hundos for the gym defending. Gymming is gonna be crazy. But I don't think we know what the community day for that one is going to be. Okay, and that moves into events for the next season, starting with December. December 3rd will be the Hisuian Samurott Raid Day. Antics actually already confirmed there's an event going down this day, so most likely it's going to be that. We'll then have December 4th to sometime in December, a cosmic event with NPCs appearing at Roots and Minor debut and some new cosmetic items. Minior, Minor debut and NPCs in Roots could be a pretty cool event. We'll then have from December to sometime in December, Manaphy and Fiona debut in some sort of event. People are thinking it's gonna be at the end of the Cosmic event. So looks like you're getting Manaphy and Fionn before Sinnoh Tour. And then December 9th, we'll have Keldeo in Elite Raids. This was a leak we've seen for a while. Then December 15th to 23rd, Holiday Event Part 1, as always, you get this every single year, with Satoddle debut, new costume Pokemon, and Shiny Vanillite debut. That'll then go into December 23rd to 31st, Holiday Event Part 2, with new costume Pokemon and Shiny Cryogonal. And there'll be a mini event, like always in there, the Winter Wonderland event, December 23rd to 24th, before Christmas, but no details on what's going on with that one. And finally, December 23rd, a Weird Deer Raid Day. So two raid days next month, pretty cool. Then that moves into January, January 31st to January 4th. We'll have the New Year's event, of course, with costume Pikachus, Jigglypuffs, probably the most skippable event of the year. And then from sometime in January to another time in January, we're gonna have an Ultra Beast event plus Team Go Rocket Takeover event. So yeah, in about two months, we'll have another Team Rocket Takeover. It also does mention here that Shadow Kyogre will debut during this Team Go Rocket event, which will be pretty cool. Finally getting the shadows of those Pokemon and what Shadow Kyogre means, means Shadow Groudon, which means probably Shadow Rayquaza soon, probably in a couple months. We'll also have an unknown time space event. Yeah, I don't really know what that event's about. Maybe some unknowns in the wild or something. And finally, he's soon Decidueye Ray Day on January 14th. Finally, that moves us into February leaks, which we will have sometime in February, the Lunar New Year's event with the Drampa debut. Of course, in February, we'll also have the Valentine's Day event with the Enamorous debut. February 11th will then be Hisuian Typhlosion Ray Day. And finally, from sometime in February, we'll have the season finale event as well as the Go Tour prep event. And yes, when I mentioned Go Tour, it's because Sino Tour is coming this year. The Go Tour 2024. We have a couple events going down, a couple important dates. Let's talk about it. First of all, January 27th to 28th will be the Pokemon Go Tour 2024 step back into Kanto. So it looks like we're going to have like a rerun of the Kanto Tour, like a mini event at the end of January. So I don't, I don't know, maybe it'll be ticketed. I'm not sure how intense it'll be. Oh yeah. And it says here, the Kanto event will be a replica of the original event, but lasting two days. So it looks like that Kanto Tour event will be like the same thing as the Kanto Tour. So we're kind of getting like two tours this year, which is cool. But then Los Angeles, 
Angeles is getting the Sino Tour this year. First, February 17th to February 18th, Pokemon Go Tour, Los Angeles. Definitely, if it is really in LA, I'm gonna be trying to make it out there. Got a bunch of meetups probably gonna be planned and all that stuff. So if you are in LA or the area, definitely get excited for that. The tour is coming to you. Finally, of course, global Sinnoh tour will be February 24th to 25th, right at the end of the season. It'll be very similar to the Hoenn tour like last year. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on during that tour or at least what's leaked. So it says Go Tour will evolve around origin form Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus finally coming to Pokemon Go. So yes, Arceus finally coming to the game and the origin forms of Dialga and Palkia, which we've been waiting for a while. It says all players will be able to get Arceus and Shiny Arceus will be available to ticket holders during the global event. So it looks like you have to buy the ticket to get the Shiny Arceus, but everyone can get the regular one. There'll also be some other Shiny Mythicals debuting or appearing during this event. It'd be Shiny, Manaphy, and Fionn. We'll also have all the remaining Shinies of the Sinnoh region. So I think like Skunky is like one of the only ones that's missing really there'll be costume pikachus unknowns will appear hisuian pokemon will also debut during the event that's why i think we're having so many raid days next season for the hisuian pokemon because they'll all arrive at the Sinnoh tour in the end because if you don't know hisui is like old Sinnoh region like Sinnoh region from the past okay and there's a couple more things that have been mentioned here additional information it says here there'll be another kecleon event at some point in the season hidden machines will be coming to the game which allows you to use moves outside and inside of battles like tms you remember like surf and stuff from the original games there'll be annihilate and hone edge debuting during the season and also lichen rock in the dusk form final we'll also get some exclusive moves during the next season with roar of time dialga spatial ren palkia crush grip regigigas bleak wind storm tornadus wild bolt storm thunderous and sand seer storm landorus all making some sort of uh, appearance and yeah guys that is pretty much it that is the next season leaked in pokemon go again take it with a grain of salt it's not all gonna potentially come true this is what the leakers are saying. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the leaks and stay tuned for the official news probably coming probably in a week, I'd say. Follow for just everybody. Peace.